Hello, it's Heather from Bonnier Quilt Company. I am here with the body of my Dresden plate. Um, I've, as I was putting on these plates, as I've been looking at the border and doing the border, I've decided that um, because I have these half plates like this one, um, I think I need to run a little, maybe a one inch green border all around the body of this Dresden plate quilt. And I think that'll look really good. It'll help to delineate exactly where the border is. So um, that's not my next step because what I decided to work on next is the border itself. I'm going to be appliquing that vine that goes up. There needs to be flowers in each of the four corners of the quilt. And then those applique vines, it's not just gonna be a vine, it's also, it needs leaves. So it'll be another opportunity for me to work in more of these clothes from um, this collection. And I'll be able to cut out little leaves and applique those on along the vine as well. So I'm really excited about it. it. It's really a lot of fun. So as I've been working through this, um, I didn't have any idea about putting a border, like a little green line around here until I really started considering the border. So one of the things that I want you to think about, if you're in this process and you're working up a quilt that you've looked at a picture and you want to, to try to make this quilt happen, keep going back and and it's okay to deviate from that path and that that perfect picture that you had in your head and keep asking questions and keep saying well what if i do this and what if i do that and yes it adds something else onto my plate to add the border here but i think what's going to ultimately happen is that when i delineate this this you know green that goes along here which is going to coordinate with what I have planned for the binding, um, and it's going to work well with the colors we have in the quilt, and it's gonna look good with the, the vine that I'm creating. What's gonna happen is it's gonna create a definition to this quilt that it wouldn't have otherwise. So you're gonna be able to see, otherwise, I think what's gonna happen is the body here, the, the gray body, of the quilt is going to kind of bleed into the border and the border won't necessarily look like a border if I don't delineate it a little bit. So feel free to go back, keep asking questions, keep thinking about how can I make this something that is truly mine? Because yes, somebody else made a quilt very similar to what I'm doing here, but I want this to be um, something that is unique for this person and unique for her daughter. So. Um, and it's something that needs to speak to the individual who is receiving the quilt more so than, you know, speaking to my desires as the quilter. Um, that's just my philosophy. It does not mean that I'm correct or anything like that, but certainly that's my philosophy about it. And um, so keep inquiring. <laughs> the quilt sometimes will speak. The fabrics will sometimes speak to you. And, um, and then that's the fun part of it. So I'm working on the borders now. I'm working on, actually, I'm working on the applique. I did do, Google is your friend. Um, so just, if you have something you don't know how to do, like I've never done curvy vines before. I've applied many, many things, but not curvy vines. Um, so I Googled and found somebody else's video on how they do a bias curvy vine, which is awesome. It's super easy. It's ridiculous. So um, I will try to remember to, to put a link out there for you guys um, to reference this because I thought her technique was beautiful. It was spot on. Um, easy. It's easy. Like I, I'm, I'm stitching it and I'm going, this is ridiculous how easy it is. So anyway, come over, see us at bonairquiltco.com. Uh, check us out on Facebook, check us out on Instagram. I'm going to have more pictures of this on Instagram as I move through this process. And um, I just think it's adorable. Like really, really a lot of fun. So see you later.